Carey and in today's video I'm working on a set of dolls I made for the Doll Artist Collective over on Instagram. Last year we were having a show called Epic Universe and I couldn't think of anything more epic than Star Wars which if you follow me for a while you probably know I love those movies and I've made several of the characters already. For the show I decided to do a mother-daughter set of Queen Amidala and Princess Leia. I their looks to be cohesive for the show so I opted on two gowns that had a similar vibe. Padme's is from Attack of the Clones where she and Anakin went to visit Tatooine and Leia's is her ceremony dress from A New Hope. I'm using these two Ever After High dolls and you guys are always really great at helping me in the comments with figuring out who the dolls were originally. So if you know who these dolls are, let me know in the comments. I'd love to be reminded. I always remove the clothes and drop the dolls in my stock box when I first get them and I lose track of who they are. In today's video, I'm mainly showing the prep process and the face up with, of Queen Amidala and a little peek at the hair at the end. So stay tuned for the final photos. Okay, so I removed the heads by soaking them in some hot water for a little bit and then removing the hair with by scraping with a screwdriver and removing with some with a hemostat. And then I removed the factory paint with acetone and I'm painting the scalp with some just acrylic paint to match the hair. I rooted her with some brown alpaca yarn and sprayed her with a few coats of Mr. Super Clear Flat. So this is Queen Amidala and this is how I'm doing her face up. I'm starting out with some white Derwent watercolor pencil and using some reference photos of Natalie Portman's face. When I posted these photos on Instagram, I got a lot of comments that she looked like Angelina Jolie, and I kind of think she did. So if I ever do an Angelina Jolie custom, I'll definitely use this doll as a base. <laughs> I'm doing some highlighting. I'm using it using the skin tone as sort of the deeper tones and doing a little more highlighting than I would normally do. For her lips, I'm going in with some pan pastel that I custom mixed. I just take, took a few different colors like reds and pinks and scraped a little off into a pan. Doing a lot of highlights with the Derwent watercolor pencil. Just to kind of shape the lips like Natalie Portman's a little bit more. I'm using a lot of reference photos, like I said. Just a reminder to check out my Etsy shop where I have a couple of downloadables available that are sort of new. Uh, one is a step-by-step -step beginner printable guide to doing face-ups. It's just $5. And the other one is a doll pricing calculator template along with a step-by-step -step guide on how to price dolls it's to help uh, artists who are selling their work. So the link to those are in the description box below. So this is after I've given her a few coats of MSC in between uh, just to save my work and then I'm adding some more highlights.
If you're a supporter over on Patreon, I believe this is one that I did a, at least one or two step-by-step uh, -step, uh, close-up clips of where it's like in real time and you can just watch the painting in, of certain parts of the doll in real time. The link to my Patreon is in the description box below as well. For the eye or eyebrows, I'm going in with a little bit of pan pastel first just to shape it, and then I'll clean it up with an eraser, and then add the individual hairs with some watercolor pencil. I'm pretty happy with the face, but if I had to do this over again, I would probably do some hair, like draw some hairs around the hairline, just to give the forehead a, a little more shape that looks a little more like Natalie Portman's forehead. Um, the hair's pulled back, so it's kind of in those situations, it's kind of, it helps a lot to have the shape a little bit closer around that area. So I'm adding a couple of beauty marks and these are done with some watered down acrylic paint. Now I'm shading the eyeball. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to go back and forth when drawing the eyeball or the iris and most of the parts of the face because it helps with keeping the symmetry. So once I have the shape and the brown uh, shaded in, then I blend it out with sort of a light brown or yellow brown. So for Princess Leia's hair, I just did a series of braids that I wrapped around into a bun and then I actually attached a braid uh, to the back for her long piece. So that's how I parted Padme. She had some uh, buns with this sort of metal piece going around her buns and how I did that is I just did, got some jewelry wire and 
shaped it to match as closely as possible to the photo there and um, added it to the buns and then I curled the rest of her hair around it. So those are the final looks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful new year. I'll see you with more videos in 2023. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.